Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will see Kelly's index number. Kelly's index number is much useful only when weight is given, common weight is given. There is no like Q1, Q0 that is not given, only simply weight is given which is applicable forever. In such cases we use Kelly's index number. The formula is also quite easy. I will show you first formula then after that we will get into the problem. The formula is here Kelly's index number P01 is equal to sigma P1Q by sigma P0. Uh, sorry I did not write P0. P0Q. Sigma P1Q by sigma P0Q into 100. Here Q is not mentioned whether Q1 or Q0. But P is P1, P0. P1Q, P0Q into 100. That's all. Through a problem, we'll get more clarity. So, this is the problem given to us. First, items are given. Units, quantity required. Only one quantity is given. Whether it is current year or uh, next year, previous year, whatever it may be, quantity is only one quantity is given. That is why, as per the formula, we have only Q, not Q1 or Q0. Okay? Price, 2020 price, 2021 price. It means this is base price, 2020. So, this is P0. This is P1. Now, as per the formula, what is required? What is required? P1Q and P0Q. Okay. Two columns already I have provided. We will calculate only that P1Q. P1 into quantity. Next, P0 into quantity. These two we have to calculate and apply it in the formula. Damn easy problem. So, shall we do the calculation? P1Q. P1 into Q means this. First P1 into Q, it comes here. 3 into 38. 3 into 38. I am using M plus, so we will get the total also. 114 it is. Next, 12 into 4, 48, na? <laughs> you might be laughing, I know. 48. Next, uh, 40 into 2.25. 40 into 0.25. It comes to 10. 70 into 3. 210. I am adding M plus, I am not multiplying 3 into 7, I am not multiplying it. Next to 30 into point, 30 into point four zero twelve. 12. So, total we are getting 394. In the same with this one also, P0 into Q, P0 is here, This these two, multiply. 3 into 32, 96. Next to 12 into 5, 60. 40 into point uh, 20. 8. 3 into 50, 150. Next, 3 into 0 0.50. Oh, gone. 30 into point. 30 into point 0.50. 15. We will total up this. 96 plus uh, 68 plus 150 plus 15. Comes to 329. As per the formula, both the totals we got it will apply in the formula. Uh, P01 is equal to formula already I have written. Okay. Formula already I have written. I am not writing. What is the formula? Sigma P1Q. Sigma P1Q means this one 394. By Sigma P0Q. P0Q this one 329 into 100. Now. 394 
into 100 divided by 329 comes to 119.8 this is the answer isn't it easy the easiest index number kelly's simply problem is given if you know the formula sigma first remember p1 p1 q by sigma p0 q into 100 that's all want to take screenshot okay right, let me uh, remember you or remind you kelly's this index number is uh, as per the syllabus of only few universities not all if it is in your university syllabus please follow it otherwise you can ignore it okay even in the last one also last video whatever i taught that is also i doubt only few people are having now rest of the uh, uh, index numbers like features time reversal factor reversal and darbish bolles all these things are common common okay next video we'll see some more topics by the way are you following properly check out the playlist there are many subjects which already covered please don't forget to share this videos practice is much important practice well before exam just revise it let me know your feedback in the comment box good luck see you